What's going on everybody and welcome to another video. So guys, if you're new to the channel and you don't know who I am, my name is Jeremy and welcome to Jeremy's Wild World. So today guys, it's Sunday, it's the Southern Invert Show in Brighton and I'm currently on my way. I'm taking a couple of trains today, it's going to be a long journey but 100% worth it. So I thought I'd just show you guys what I get up to today, show you the inverts and all the stuff that's going on at the show and yeah, pretty much just show you what I get up to today. So stick to the rest of the video and see how this Invert Show turns out this year. It's going to be my first show, I'm really excited. Let's get right into this. guys so it's currently the next day after the southern invert show and i hope you guys enjoyed the little montage of clips i managed to record although it's not the best because it it was quite hard to record um from 11 till 1 it was really really crowded and it was hard to get to the tables and you know once it starts dying down most of the inverts are gone so it was quite hard to get some footage but i hope you guys enjoyed the stuff that i did manage to record anyways so i'm going to get into the thing you're probably looking forward to the most what did i pick up at the show so let's get right into it so starting off with the boring stuff, so basically all the dry goods and you know supplies I picked up um, I got a bag of sphagnumos. This whole bag cost me one pound, which I thought was a really good deal um, I also got some dried leaf litter uh, For food for some of the inverts I got so maybe that'll give you a rough idea on what I got And yeah, so I got some leaf litter I also got this little tub as you see one pound really good price uh, the prices at the show were really really good and really cheap so i'm definitely going to go to the next one i can go to i also got this tub of wood chips this cost me a pound as well so this will basically be for um, the substrate that i'm going to be using and yeah next up guys i got some cork bark i got two decent pieces of cork bark one is going to go inside 
single enclosure and yeah so i got two and another's pretty much going to go into another enclosure pretty much so yeah i've got two pieces of pork bark they were one pound each that was a good price again and last for the dry goods is two cuttle bones um, yeah so i got two cuttle bones for two for a quid so it's really good because i live near no pet shops and the only pet shop that i live near is pets at home and they sell them for two for two pounds 75 so two for a quid i had to pick some up just yeah a really good deal all right guys so that's all the boring stuff out of the way let's get into some of the invert cycle so starting off with the least interesting invert that i picked up at the show was a colony of springtails for two pounds that i picked up from so many legs so if i open up the enclosure here guys as you can see there isn't too many visible springtails at the moment but there are quite a few in here they're probably just hidden within the substrate because um you know i've been opening the enclosure so you know they're a bit scared but basically i'm just going to be using these guys as a cleanup crew uh for the multiple enclosures i'm going to be setting up and yeah so that's pretty much all i have to say about these springtails so moving on i actually picked up some isopods so starting off with these 10 orange ones i picked up for i think they were two pound fifty which is not a bad price but yeah, as you can see here, guys, they're a lovely orange colour. I've got a few adults and a few juveniles, and I'm hoping to propagate these guys more as pets instead of cleanup crew that isopods are usually used for. And yeah, so pretty much these guys are just pets for me. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say for these guys at the moment. I'll be updating you guys once I start getting this colony going on. So let's move on to the next thing. But, but before I left, I had one last look around the show, just to have, you know, one little look around. And I saw these little guys and I had to pick them up because look at their coloration, they just look absolutely amazing. So guys, these are known as domino cockroaches or question mark cockroaches, and I picked up four adults for six pounds. And as you can see, their colorations are absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna be keeping these guys mostly as pets um, in a communal enclosure, but if it doesn't work out too well, I have a spare enclosure ready for them if they don't work out too well in the communal. So yeah, that's pretty much all for these guys at the moment. I'm gonna hopefully be breeding these guys uh, mainly for pets but i may use them as feeders in the future but that's only when the colony gets really really big so let's move on to the next invert so moving on to the next invert or more like arachnid i'd like to give a big shout out to southwest jumping spiders for this little paper bag it's the cutest thing i've ever seen in my life as you can see here guys it's a little jumping spider dressed up as captain america and they call it captain spudica and all the bags had different drawings on them and yeah, they just look really, really nice. So as you can see, guys, Southwest Jumping Spiders, big shout out to you guys. Thank you for this little bag. It also came with a little care guide on how to look after the jumping spider that I picked up. And yeah, so the jumping spider I decided to go with was Regal Jumping Spider Sling at the fourth stage in Star. And as you can see, it is the most tiniest little guy. I'm not sure how well my camera will focus on this. Let's zoom in here. As you can see, it's the most tiniest little thing and he or she already has a little name and I'm calling it Itsy. So guys, meet Itsy, the regal jumping spider. So I'm gonna be feeding this little girl some fruit flies for now until she gets a bit bigger. I'm gonna call it she, I'm not too sure what gender it is yet. We'll find out as it grows up, but yeah. So that's my little regal jumping spider and let's move on to the other inverts I picked up. So next up, we've got a group of fruit beetles. Um, I got this colony for 10 pounds. But I also forgot to say in the last clip, I got the Regal Jumping Spider Sling for a fiver. So these little guys are fruit beetles and I got a pair, a guaranteed pair, two unsexed beetles and a grub that's somewhere in here. Um, but as you can see guys, oh, these beetles look very, very nice, very, very nice colors. And these guys will be also living in the communal tank. And yeah, so, and also this enclosure will be the cockroach enclosure if they do not work out in the communal. So as you can see, these beetles are very, very nice colours, nice bright yellow, some reddish colours and some blacks. And yeah, that's pretty much all for these little guys. So let's move on to the next one. Before showing you guys what's inside this enclosure, no, it's not a ghost tree spider, but it's actually something else. I really want to give a shout out to Sam from Bug Realms and Kelly from Critters and Creations. Thank you, Sam and Kelly, for being really, really nice and, you know, having a nice little chat, having a good laugh and taking a picture with me. I'll throw the picture that I took with them in the top left corner. And yeah, so I just wanted to show you guys what Sam actually gave me. So in here, guys, I have quite a large colony of dairy cow isopods. As you can see, there's a mixture of adults and babies in here. And just look at their coloration. By far, my favorite isopod out there. 
and yeah so sam again thank you so much for providing me these guys at such a cheap price because i was walking around and i had a look they were being sold at the show for three pounds each three pounds each oh my goodness imagine how much i would have spent if i bought the amount you gave me if i bought them for three pounds each again sam thank you so much for providing me these and thank you kelly for being really really funny and yeah so let's move on to the next inverts guys all right guys so before i show you guys the final invert which is my by far my favorite i thought i'd just quickly show you guys these two so these two are a sex pair of orange banded millipedes and as you can see they are really really nice i'm gonna pick this one up here so you guys can get a better look as you can see guys these guys are absolutely beautiful if you haven't seen my updates video i did say that i was going to get some rainbow millipedes but i did find them there but they were far too expensive for what i had at the time so i just got these two instead i got these two for 16 pounds for the pair they were eight pounds each and the lady did say it was a male and female but if they don't breed and if they don't make babies i'm not really that bothered because i'm mainly keeping these guys as pets more than breeding and yeah, so these guys will be going in the communal enclosure along with the cockroaches, the fruit beetles and the dairy cow isopods as well as the springtails. And yeah, so that's pretty much it for these guys. Let's move on to the final invert that I picked up at the show. So guys, for the final invert and by far my favourite invert that I picked up at the show, I picked up a young giant Asian mantis. And wow guys, I have always wanted to keep mantises but I've never really had any access to them in my area and online they were fairly expensive to ship over to my house but when I saw this little guy I was just like yes I have to get it so this is my giant Asian mantis um, it actually has a name already and I'm gonna call it a she because I'm really hoping for a female since they do live for longer so guys this is Dice and wow she is absolutely beautiful just by far one of the most interesting inverts I've ever seen in my life She's inquisitive, she always constantly looks around, she knows you're there, and she's quite interested in the camera at the moment. But yeah, so this is my giant Asian mantis, she'll be living on her own, don't worry, there's not going to be anything else with her. And yeah, so I have a separate enclosure, and yeah, so guys, that's pretty much all the inverts I got at the Southern Invert Show in Brighton, and yeah, so let's get into the outro of the video. Alright guys, so first of all, please excuse my messy hair, I haven't tied it up today, but yeah, so that's pretty much the end of the video guys, after this I'm going to be setting up the enclosures for the inverts, don't worry, they're not going to be staying in those containers for long, um, I'm not going to record a video of me setting them up, but I will feature them on another video in the future. So guys, if you really did enjoy the video, I really appreciate if you click the subscribe button down below, as well as the notification bell, so you won't miss out on another video when I do decide to upload again. I also really appreciate if you guys would leave a like on the video as well as a comment down below. If you guys also would like, please follow me on Instagram, Jeremy's Wild World underscore for behind the scenes and pictures of all my animals, including some really nice pictures of the inverts I'm going to be posting very, very soon. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all for me today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video once again. And yeah, that's all for me today, guys. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.